It is February 1st, which means it is Black History Month, the start, and of course there are wonderful things planned throughout the city in terms of education and celebration. And joining us from the Black History Ottawa Public Relations Community Outreach Program is Sarah Onyango. Great to have you here on the show. Good morning. Uh, and I, I take it starting today, I mean, you've got a, you've got a very busy couple of weeks ahead Actually, of you. Actually, starting last Saturday, we had uh, the uh, City of Ottawa um, launch, official launch of Black History Month. And uh, yeah, it was a very good event at Library and Archives. Uh, and uh, since then, uh, we've just been going, going, going on the Ottawa side. And what are we looking at? Is it a celebration? Is it education? Is it, uh, you know, where, where does this All span? That. Okay. It's, uh, it's, yes, it's a, it's a celebration of the contributions of uh, black peoples to Canada, to Ottawa, to Gatineau, uh, to the world. But it's also um, a public awareness uh, period. Like, it's an intense public awareness period where people get to realize that uh, the black presence in Canada goes all the way back to 1605-09 and that there are many things that Canadians take for granted that uh, black people uh, played a hand in, in bringing about. Uh, the human rights movement here, the labor uh, movement here in, in Canada, even in, in politics, uh, e equality in housing, anti-poverty, all kinds of uh, things. It's not just the arts and sports. Mm -hmm. That's exactly also what we want to emphasize, that blacks have, uh, have uh, contributed to the fields of education, to academia, to the sciences, Elijah McCoy. And so, I mean, you talk about, you, 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 you list this off, but then where are people going to be able to understand it then? Are there exhibits? Are there sessions so that we, we get a better understanding of you know what? You know. the, what's interesting is the information has always existed, not necessarily in the quantity you need, and it hasn't been um, as uh, publicized as it should be so that people know where to go. Your public library. Start at your public library and uh, do a search under Blacks Canada and boom, you're going to come up with all kinds of uh, books about the early settlers in uh, the Maritimes, in southern Ontario, in Quebec. Uh, you can go to Library and Archives if you, you're more into the genealogy of things and find out about the, uh, the descendants of the, uh, the Underground Railroad. Uh, hello, Internet. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> you can Google it. And if you put Blacks, Canada, history, you will be surprised at all the websites that come up from Citizenship and Immigration Canada to Ontario Black History Society to the Table Ronde, the Mois d'Histoire des Noirs de, de, de Montréal, etc., etc. I mean, the information is there. You just have to take that extra effort. So what is being done? So uh, the information is mm -hmm. there, but there are things planned. There are things that... For Ottawa. For yeah. Ottawa. So mm -hmm. is, is there an example if, if, if families are planning on doing things or want to be able to take this in or take take their mm -hmm. understanding to a different level? What can they do? Well, can there's they go? something for everybody. If you're more interested in uh, health issues, there's going to be a health event on the 4th and 5th uh, next week. Uh, but that is uh, specifically for service providers who deal with the black community. On February 10th, uh, a nice family event is the children's stories from the African diaspora where people from the black community read storybooks uh, by black people or about black characters with little black people in them uh, to children. Uh, and that's to promote literacy, but also to raise awareness about the existence of uh, these, these black authors mm -hmm. that otherwise don't get you know, the, uh, the spotlight that they should. Um, my goodness, there's all manner of cultural events and entertainment, there's the Roots and Reggae Night, there's, I mean... So, uh, best bet then, I mean, because mm -hmm. we can list it, where yeah. should people go, is it with the website, or where to go Start for all that? Start with blackhistoryottawa.org. Okay. Start with blackhistoryottawa.org and go on there and uh, see what there is, and if there is, if you, if you still need more information, you can always email us at bhottawa.yahoo.ca. Information listed on your screen, but that is the best website to go to and then see all the listings and all the events that are going to be happening over the course of the month. Thank you so much for the information. Thank you. Well, to you as well. And